Have you ever wondered how we tell time so uniformly across the globe? It's all thanks to a system that finds its roots in the stars and a small town in England. Before the advent of standardized time, each town set its clocks based on the sun's position. This worked well enough for local interactions, but as the world became increasingly interconnected, the need for a global time standard became apparent. Enter Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT, a system that revolutionized timekeeping. GMT is a mean solar time, calculated at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, London. It's based on the time it takes the Earth to rotate from noon to noon relative to the prime meridian. GMT served as the world's primary time standard for much of the 20th century. Its impact on navigation, communication, and international trade was profound. The story of GMT begins with the sea. In the 17th century, maritime trade flourished and accurate navigation became paramount. Sailors relied on celestial navigation, using the stars and the sun to determine their location at sea. However, a lack of standardized time made accurate navigation challenging. Recognizing the need for a reliable time standard for navigation, England established the Royal Observatory in Greenwich in 1675. Its primary purpose was to develop precise astronomical observations and improve navigation techniques. Astronomers at the observatory meticulously tracked the movement of stars and planets, culminating in the establishment of GMT. The development of GMT was a significant leap forward in maritime navigation. It provided sailors with a reliable reference point to calculate longitude, allowing for safer and more efficient sea travel. Central to the concept of GMT is the prime meridian, an imaginary line that divides the Earth into the eastern and western hemispheres. This line, passing directly through the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, serves as the zero degrees longitude mark from which all other longitudes are measured. The prime meridian isn't just a line on a map, it's the foundation upon which global time zones are built. Every location on Earth is assigned a time zone based on its distance east or west of the prime meridian. This system ensures that time progresses logically across the globe. The establishment of the prime meridian and its association with GMT solidified Greenwich's status as the home of time. It became the point from which the world set its clocks. While GMT was initially developed for navigational purposes, its utility extended far beyond the seas. As communication technologies like the telegraph emerged, the need for a standardized global time became even more crucial. In 1884, the International Meridian Conference convened in Washington, D.C. to establish a global time standard. Representatives from 25 nations gathered to debate and ultimately agreed upon adopting GMT as the international standard for time. This landmark decision ushered in an era of global time synchronization. GMT became the backbone of international time zones, facilitating communication, transportation, and commerce across borders. As technology advanced, scientists sought even more precise methods of timekeeping. GMT, while reliable, relied on astronomical observations, which were inherently susceptible to slight variations. The mid-20th century witnessed the advent of atomic clocks, instruments that measure time based on the incredibly stable frequencies of atoms. Atomic clocks offered an unprecedented level of accuracy, paving the way for a new time standard, Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC. UTC, adopted in 1972, quickly replaced GMT as the world's primary time standard. While GMT remains a widely recognized term, it's essential to understand that UTC is the standard used today for all scientific and technological applications. UTC relies on a complex system that combines the precision of atomic clocks with the Earth's rotation. At the heart of UTC is International Atomic Time, or TI, a weighted average of atomic clocks located in over 70 laboratories worldwide. However, because the Earth's rotation is not perfectly uniform, a slight discrepancy can arise between TI and the Earth's actual rotational position. To account for this, a second element, Universal Time, or UT1, is incorporated into UTC. When the difference between TI and UT1 approaches 0.9 seconds, a leap second is added to UTC. This ensures that UTC remains aligned with the Earth's rotation, preventing a significant divergence between atomic time and solar time. While the terms GMT and UTC are often used interchangeably in casual conversation, it's important to note the distinction between the two. GMT, based on the Earth's rotation, is inherently less precise than UTC. The accuracy of UTC derived from atomic clocks is unparalleled. Atomic clocks are so stable that they lose less than one second every few hundred million years. 
This level of precision makes UTC essential for a wide range of modern technologies, including GPS navigation, telecommunications, and high-frequency trading. In essence, while GMT served as a reliable time standard for over a century, UTC represents a significant advancement in timekeeping accuracy, meeting the demands of our technologically advanced world. In today's interconnected world, precise timekeeping is not just a matter of convenience, it's a necessity. UTC underpins countless aspects of our daily lives, from the smooth operation of global financial markets to the accuracy of scientific experiments. Consider the implications for air traffic control, where even a fraction of a second can have significant consequences. Or imagine the chaos that would ensue in global communication networks without a standardized time reference. UTC ensures the seamless functioning of our modern world. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our quest to measure and understand the passage of time with ever-increasing precision.